We go in search for them. We bring you their stories. Untold stories. Undiluted. Watch. Undiluted stories. With more than on Backloaded YouTube channel. Backloaded TV. Unveiling the hidden. Welcome to Undiluted Stories on Backloaded TV on our YouTube channel anchored by Moen Leo 2. Today we will be taking you on a ride to see for yourself a dilapidated rice mill in Cross River State of Nigeria in West Africa. This rice mill was established in 1974 by some Germans who were businessmen and also there were agricultural farmers. This rice mill has been here for a very long time but no one is really taking good care of the rice mill and this rice mill is able to produce about a hundred and a hundred and twenty finished rice within an hour. It, it, it produces packaged rice from the raw material, from the raw processing until it is a finished product. Within an hour, this rice mill provides about 100 or 120 uh, uh, finished bags of rice. If you look be behind me, that is the rice mill right there. I will be taking you on a tour to see how this rice mill have been left to dilapidate. My name is Moen Liu Itu, and you are on Undiluted Stories on Bacoloaded TV on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel on Bacoloaded TV. And also, don't forget to hit the notification bell so that whenever we upload a new video, you will be notified. Thank you. Follow me as we go on a ride on the Bansara rice farm. Let's go. error on the post is from printing it's supposed to be Bansara not Bansa it's supposed to be B A N S A R A that is what this name was supposed to be there was a, uh, an error in the printing of this sample here but meanwhile this is the entrance to the Bansara rice farm which is uh, abandoned here in Bansara in Oguda local government, Cross River State, West Africa. This rice, this mill has been left to dilapidate all by itself here in Bansara. The government is not doing anything about it. And uh, this rice mill here is capable of producing about a hundred and hundred and something complete production packs of rice within an hour it boils it parboils it dries it mills it deselect the stones the breakages <clears throat> and give you the full ones and package it within one hour it produces not less than a hundred and hundred and something bags so i will take you inside the yard of the rice mill to see for yourself this is supposed to be the gatehouse for the security and behind the gatehouse those are the uh, way houses and also former mini barracks for the Nigerian army around 1974-1975 all right, that's the Bansara Wright farm in front of me. And uh, I have a young man here who I see making some mounds for farm around the vicinity of the rice farm. I will want to him to tell us the reason why he is making his farm around the rice mill. Please, on it. Good morning. We want to know, you will tell us your name and uh, also you will tell us um, the reason why you're making your farm close to the Bansara rice farm. So you can tell us the reasons. My name is Bansara. The reason why I'm not a 
the bacterial response is because of the fire. Because when we don't do like this, when fire comes, we burn the rice meal. So that is why we always like to do things around the rice meal so that we keep the rice meal clean. So that fire will not come in. Okay. Yes. That is that is a very good one because we can see that even the government is really not putting their eyes on this uh, rice farm that can generate revenue for it. So if we look behind, as I take the camera, you will see how he is making his mound to make a farm here so that he can keep this place clean and safe from fire outbreak at any time to burn up the rice meal. The people are trying their best to make sure that the rice meal is kept safe. But because of financial constraints and strength, they are unable to make use of the rice meal by themselves. So with the beautiful flower you see ahead of us, so beautiful, this is so beautiful. And um, to the right, you will see the dilapidating buildings. The dilapidating buildings that are supposed to be the staff quarters to the Bansara rice farm. You see, the investor who came here tried to do take care of the meal but he wasn't he was unable to do it so he left all the doors locked all the doors locked and this place is fastly dilapidating you can see you can see all the doors are locked all the doors are locked well locked you can't go inside any of the staff quarters to see what is going on and this is a vehicle that was brought by uh, the investor. You can see on it, this vehicle is here, dilapidating. You can see. You can see, this is, read for yourself, you see. Federal Government Cotton Intervention Program, Cotton Seed Production Unit, Arewa Cotton. You see how this truck is here inside the bush dilapidating no one is doing anything about it you can see close to the truck that is the rice meal that is the bansara rice meal okay i'm taking you closer to the rice meal you can see the cassava farms how the people make uh the farm so that fire will not consume this multi-million building and the equipments that are here that are in this building are the equipments that the Germans themselves after installing it when they wanted to leave they say this uh, uh, rice meal cannot be moved that if anybody moves this rice meal away from here they can't uh, rebuild it the way it was built. These are other uh, things that are supposed to be for the building of some uh, shops by the sides and uh, also uh, make uh, the walls for other uh, building or for other staffs. This is federal government high tension uh, electricity supply. That runs from the going state to uh, Ecom. So behind that marks, that's the river down there. And here are uh, the warehouses where the raw products are supposed to be kept and be ready for uh, production. So this is the front of the mill. This is Bansara rice meal in Uguja local government, Cross River State, Nigeria in West Africa. And this meal were only two that was built. One in Bansara, Uguja local government, Cross River State, Nigeria, West Africa, and the other was in Mali. The other type of this meal, rice meal was built in Mali. 
Now for this, the the man who is supposed to be in charge of the mill at this moment locked up the mill, so we can't have access to uh, get inside. And that is why I am making this video for everybody to see if this is how it is supposed to be. He locked up the place, the place is not functioning and you can't have access into it. This is supposed to be where the rice is poured in. This is where the rice goes in. The raw product. I'll take you around to see more from the Bansara rice farm that has been abandoned by the government. This is a project that can give the government a good sum of revenue through agriculture. And there are a lot of production going on here. The people produce a lot of rice grains. This side is being cleared by another person in the community to make a farm so it can keep the mill and all its um, properties safe. Now, starting directly from the left wing of the mill is the swamp or the rice farms, the rice plot where the company is supposed to uh, be farming. You see down there how clear it is. It is supposed to be where the company starts its farm. This farm is about 20,000 acres. 20,000 acres of uh, palm land for rice that is supposed to supply the rice meal, um, the product for production. Now from the rice meal, I am taking you to the uh, toilet for staff during um, working hours. This is the way to the toilet. See how sand is covering up the part. These are the toilets. All here in the bushes, dilapidating. Dilapidating. This is the outlet of the generator that serves the milling process inside the rice mill. Here is the diesel tank that serves this generator here with gas. And when you look further, you see the transformer that supplies this rice mill uh, power. This transformer only serves this rice mill and not the community. So right now, as we speak, it is not in use. This 
is inside one of the warehouses that is abandoned. And this warehouse is supposed to be where the heavy equipment machines, like the tractors, the harvesters, and other farm machines will be kept. But the farm machines that were left here are all been sold by, uh, I can't really tell who uh, sold them, whether the community or the investor. This is rice that have been left, that have been abandoned, and now turning to the shaft because they are decaying. Yes, this is supposed to be the general manager's accommodation for uh, the Bansara rice farm. But you can see it, it has become an abandoned building. No one is staying here. The key is locked. And uh, the investor who is supposed to be the one to keep this uh, rice meal going has locked all the doors and gone with the keys. There is no access to this building. So no one knows what is happening inside the community or the government. Nobody. Because it is being uh, sealed. It is locked. I'll take you around so you see the building. See, when the dry season comes, this is going to be raised by fire because the, all the grasses growing around the house, the bushes, will get dried in the dry season. And when there is any fire in Fenno, it is going to affect this building which is supposed to be put to use, which is supposed to be in use. This building was built by Germans, just like I said, it was by Germans. And it's a solid building. It's a very solid building that I've been here for a long time. Now to my right, you will see the warehouses. To my right, you will see the warehouses. The warehouses were also accommodating the military. The military around uh, 1975-1976. This was a, a mini barracks because behind this um, mini barracks here, which has become the warehouse to 
the Bansara rice farm, which you're seeing far away, I'll warehouse more than this because of the fright of uh, some creeping insects. And behind the warehouse, as you're watching to your right, there is a river, which is the Aya River. I think I have a video on the Aya River on Bakoloded um, YouTube channel. That's Bakoloded TV about the Aya River. So the Aya River was also a commercial transportation system, which I will talk about in my next video. But today we are covering the uh, Bansara rice farm and how it is left to dilapidate by the government. Yes, as you can see, the rice mill has a quarters for the staffs and the management. Right behind me is its own quarters for both its, its staffs and the management. As you can see behind me, this is supposed to be the building where the manager of the Bansara rice farm is supposed to stay whenever the, the, the rice mill is functional. So we are making this report to show the whole world how these things are here dilapidating, spoiling up, and nobody, the government of Cross River State or the federal government of Nigeria has to do something because these are the things that can provide more finances, can bring more income for, the, for a country because it is agricultural based project. Thank you and keep watching Bakolode TV on YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel on Bakolode TV and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that whenever we have a new video, you will be notified. Thank you for watching. I am your uncle, Moen Liu Itu. Keep watching Bakolode Undiluted Stories. Thank you.